Roll for Crit here with some release news, one for Arkham Horror, the other for Mansions of Madness. We're going to start off with Arkham Horror, the newest edition, it is the first expansion titled Dead of Night. This set will come with two new scenarios, of course a bunch of new monsters, events for locations, as well as items and whatnot, as well as four new investigators. We were able to learn what four investigators are in there from a live stream a little while back. Uh, we've got Skids, Roland, Banks, uh, Kate, and Diana Stanley. Pretty much uh, the criminal, uh, the cop, the scientist, and the cultist. Uh, I think Skids seemed to be the one in the article, though, that they brought up a lot because this one actually is going to have heavy uh, gang theme to it. With uh, one of the scenarios actually having to deal with the two major gangs you th see throughout the Arkham Universe of Fantasy Flight. The O'Banions, I think I'm saying that right, or O'Banions, and the Sheldons. And of course, what other Lovecraftian mysteries are in there? Because it can't be just as simple as two groups of people angry at each other. I always like it when, even though there now are humans involved, the just for simplicity's sake and to keep it consistent, they still refer to the enemies as monsters. <laughs> yeah, I think... <laughs> you know, they're, they're all monsters. Aren't we the true monsters? <laughs> yeah, I think we are. Uh, yeah, th so from what I can tell, you know, this set, it seems like, isn't going to introduce any kind of real new mechanics. It really is is just uh, doubling the amount of stuff they said in the encounter decks. So they said each of those encounter decks in the neighborhoods would be doubled in size, and plus just giving you, like you said, more scenarios, more characters, more of the stuff that we know about and and like. Um, a couple other tidbits from that live stream that they had, if I recall, they also uh, said that all the scenarios would be kind of around medium length and difficulty, so it's not like super advanced, uh, and they also tease a future expansion that would include another fan favorite character, Ash Can Pete. Mm -hmm. That's who uh, <laughs> I'm playing right now in our card game campaign. Uh, That's right. Overall, when I read this, I'm like, it's fine. I'm, I think it's cool the idea of the, of the gang fighting, but if you look at the other, uh, not other, but the previous edition of Arkham, usually expansions added like a whole new deck of cards, add like you can make a pact or make a deal with the gang, get gang membership, that kind of thing. Which was, I think, interesting because it adds more strategies you can do. And this is just, you have a strategy for that scenario. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I, I guess there's still, you know, the ultimate kind of the the thesis of the third edition is to streamline everything. So maybe they're 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 still kind of they don't want to go too crazy and add so many things that are going to overwhelm people, and they want to take it a little slower this time around. That's I mean maybe that's what they're doing. That's just my guess. No, and you're right. I think it's one of those things that's a trade off. I'm just mentioning what I think is one of the negative trade offs mm -hmm. there. Uh, I should mention in the picture they also show a little card holder for the enemy deck because that's one of the things we, uh, I like about this edition that they came with more card holder stuff. Oh yeah, no, that's really nice. That's a nice little quality of life thing. They all small things. Yeah, they also did say that at least uh, the second encounter is going to have to do with Sothagua. I think I'm saying that right. Who is like I believe, the sleeping guy? <laughs> yeah, the 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 lazy one. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, you know there will be besides just uh, mafia type gangs. We, we are going to move on to more giant elder gods, which I've, as you said, I'm sure will be involved in that one as well. All right, switching gears. They also announced this new Mansions of Madness expansion, which is not the first expansion for Mansions of Madness Second Edition. There have been quite a few. It's called Path of the Serpent, and this one includes three brand new scenarios in it, along with some new characters. Again, bringing back some old favorites, and I think maybe some new ones. I'm not as well versed in the lore, so I, I don't remember which ones are new, but I know they've got my boy Norman Withers, the astronomer. I like him because he's old and he's got a big white beard. Uh, and these three scenarios actually work together. Uh, they are taking you into the jungle, so it's, it seems like it's got... Almost an Indiana Jones kind of vibe, you know, exploring more lost temples and finding ancient civilizations and relics and things like that. Uh, but of course, with the Lovecraft twist to it. Uh, and you're going to be starting out at a little dinner party <laughs> where things are going to go 
south for everybody. What? <laughs> I know. Who could have guessed? But it sounds like that one kind of has, it may be one, more of the talking to people conversational mystery vibe like some of the other scenarios have. And uh, eventually you will go straight into the South American jungle and you're, like I said, exploring civilizations, uh, trying to uncover the secrets of the terrifying temples. You're camping in the darkness. One of the scenarios involves you having to decide if you're going to venture out at night and risk danger to find the answers to mysteries. And there's a new type of puzzle involved uh, in the app. Uh, if you're familiar with mansions, you know, there are a few different kind of puzzles, simple sliding puzzles and the like that you're familiar with you might have to solve. Now there's kind of a ring puzzle where you're matching symbols on the outsides by rotating areas of this ring, uh, which is kind of a nice touch. So uh, I know that this is, again, not what uh, we, we always we always say when we talk about Mansions of Madness, we'd like to see them do maybe more digital stuff, stuff that uses content from previous expansions. But it does seem novel in that the three scenarios are connected. Am I wrong or ha have they have they not no, done that before? I I completely no. You, I think most of them were standalone that I recall. I don't remember them. Maybe there's some a small hint or something. But when I played through, uh, as you said, this is not the first. I we actually have a ranking of a bunch of them, not the recent ones. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've been nearly as connected. So that is at least something I think a bit more interesting. And I feel like this justifies having a whole bunch of new tiles because I remember when I first saw this, I'm like. So are we like just going to be in the greenhouse, <laughs> you know, uh, but it's actually, no, you're in a whole jungle and something. And maybe you do come across a house in there, which I would be fine with then because it's all mysteries, especially when you can connect everything. I think that could be pretty cool. And that maybe that's how if they build enough of these tiles, that's what they do as we what we want is actually just a giant campaign. Yeah, this definitely opens the doors for something like that, which I, I think is very exciting. Uh, I like the fact that, you know, it's only three scenarios, so it's not, you know, you can play through them as a campaign, and that's cool, but it's not something that's going to take the rest of your life to finish, but it's always a plus for us. Uh, and it, the setting looks cool. I like that they have pretty much decided, it seems, between this and the last expansion, that mansions, that's just a name. <laughs> we can take this anywhere we want at this point. So uh, which of these two do you think you're looking forward to more, the mansions expansion? Oh, it rhymes. Or the uh, Arkham Horror. I think I gotta go with Mansions. Um, I mean, while Arkham is the first expansion, it doesn't sound like it adds anything that will change it for me. And story-wise, I think Mansions t mansion stories tend to be a little bit better, particularly with all three attached, or connected, I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say I won't get both, because of course I will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd say that's a, probably the, the big thing. Yeah, I agree. I think the mansion's uh, uh, Path of the Serpent is a little bit more ambitious, is trying more new things, but also they've been around a lot longer, so they have they kind of have more of the freedom to do that. I do like that the Arkham one is adding a lot more variety because I always appreciate, you know, because you do use those same encounter decks every game, so it'll be nice to go to the different neighborhoods and have some more right. stuff to encounter. That's one that, I mean, all these Arkham Horror, or Arkham Universe games, when you get more expansions, it means you're going to have more variety. Right. So it doesn't feel as stale. So that's why, like, even though the other one sounds interesting, getting both will make both games more enjoyable, regardless which scenario you play. Arkham Horror Dead of Night is scheduled to be released uh, in Q3 of this year, uh, with the Mansions expansion Path of the Serpent coming out in Q4. I'll, I will say I do think you should keep an eye out around Gen Con if you're going, because I would not be surprised, especially for the, Ar the Arkham Horde Dead of Night one, mm -hmm. probably not the mansions, that they might actually release some there into the wild. It is up for pre-order right now, so yeah, it seems like that one maybe is a little bit further along. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Are you excited for these? Are you a fan of the new editions of Arkham and mansions? Uh, and what do you want out of more expansions? Talk to us. But until we learn of more Fancy Flight releases, I'm Will. I'm Jonathan. This has been Roll for Crit News. Catch the latest from Roll for Crit by liking and subscribing, and don't forget to support us on Patreon. Don't get analysis paralysis. Just click those buttons. Help us out.